Distillering a longbow is quite a delicate process. Fred Bentley here is Big Staff Bow's main bowyer. And when he's presented with the stave from downstairs, the first job he does is to check it, measure it, mark it out for length, and then cut the temporary knocks that we use whilst tillering the stave. As in all processes, we measure twice, cut once, to avoid mistakes. The temporary groove is cut in with a round file at roughly 45 degrees along the side of the stave and across the back, cutting slightly into the hickory. As this isn't a knock that's going to be used for shooting the bow, we can take slightly more liberties with it than we would if it was a, an actual string knock. We fit an overlong string onto the stave so that the bow isn't under any stress initially when we put it onto the tiller and we'll bend it a small amount looking for stiff bits and the art of tillering is very very simple if it's too stiff remove material if it's bending too much in an area remove wood everywhere else until the stave bends into the shape that you're looking for. And this is where art meets science. The bow has to bend properly as a spring and be evenly tensioned throughout its length and bend into the arc of a circle. So it's a question of being able to see shapes. What Fred's doing at the moment is carefully looking to see which of the stiff areas and marking those and he'll remove wood from those areas and leave everywhere else alone. And you keep gently removing material until the stave adopts the shape you're looking for. Having marked the stave whilst on the tiller, we can now confidently scrape and remove material, knowing roughly how much material needs to be removed to bring the shape back into line. In this shot you can look down the length of the bow and you can get a better idea of where we're marking the stave, how much material is likely to be removed. And you can see here it's a little bit stiff above and below the handle. This is quite normal and most staves we don't rush to remove material into this area until the bow's very much taking shape. So as it gets closer to being finished we're happier to work closer and closer into the handle and to get the limb to bend throughout almost all of its length. As the bow nears completion, we usually get a colleague, in this case Richard, is helping Fred, gently exercising the bow so that Fred can see the bow as it dynamically bends rather than as a static bend held on the tiller. You can sometimes pick out a little bit more detail by seeing how the bend develops as the bow is drawn. With practice, as you can see, the scraper that we're using here is being held very, very lightly and the bow is almost being polished so that by the time we finish tillering it, it needs very little sanding. And here we see the bow almost completely finished.